we are making broad decisions on how the drawing program should be structured without getting into all the details. The use case for drawing a line would flow like this. The user clicks on a button to draw a line and would move the cursor to the drawing panel. The cursor should change the shape and the user would click on one endpoint and then the other endpoint and the system would create a or show a line segment connecting these two endpoints. So that is the use case. So for that use case, for drawing a line, what would be our approach to implement it? This is the sequence diagram at a very high level without showing all the details. So there are four objects here. One is the user. Then we have a controller object, a model object, and a view object. Once again, this is a broad look at the design, not giving all the details. So the user would click the line button and the controller would create a line object. Then the controller would add this line object by issuing a method of the model. So the line object has now been added, but there are no endpoints for this line at this time. Then the user would click on the drawing panel, specif which specifies the first endpoint, and the controller would invoke a method on the line object at point one. So this point that was specified by the user would be added to the line. Then the controller will invoke a method in the view, let's call it update, so that the view shows the first endpoint, basically it's just a pixel. Then the user would click on the second endpoint and the controller would call this method. Actually, this should be add point two, not add point one. In any case, um, it would add the second endpoint to the line object and would invoke the update method on view to display this complete line. Okay, now that was a very broad look at the division of responsibilities. The controller, as you saw, gets the notifications when things occur on the interface. It does some stuff with the model, adding the line object, for example, and adds the points to the line object it created. And then it uh, also tells the view to update itself. Now let's get uh, some ideas on how to implement uh, the logic around here re regarding the controller. We could have all the events all for all the shapes come to a single piece of software. So the controller could be just one big class that gets commands to add a line, commands to add labels, polygons, do undo, redo, save, everything could be in one class. 
or we could see that you could observe that the whole process is really is a matter of states that is when you are drawing a polygon you are only worried about that polygon so that is a different kind of state so we could think of a state for each command and subdivide that into various steps of a command for example if you are adding a line you could think of a state for handling the first point input and a second state for the second point input so we could have a number of states for each command or a third option would be to have just one command for each state what we find is that uh, if you have a single class that handles all the commands it is going to be really uh, messy you will have a large number of conditionals and you will have a large number of local variables to keep track of things it would be very difficult to program that and if you take the other approach where you have one state for each step of a command that would that could be viewed as an overkill so what we do is a compromise basically one state one class for each command so we will have one state to represent the quiescent state that is when nothing is going on when no shape is being drawn when no command is in progress we have the quiescent state then for all the other shapes we will have one state per shape or command so just to give you a sense of uh, what the state classes would look like let's look at the super class for all states we call it drawing state and like uh, super class for all states we are having a an enter method and a leave method and we don't make this abstract because most of the states will have little code to be put into the enter and leave method so it is better to just make these empty methods in the super class so the sub classes don't have to override them we will have handle event methods for various types of events the code is just very rough just to give you a sense for for example create polygon event create line event etc etc then we will have methods for each state just to give you a sense of what the quiescent state would look like again very rough code public class quiescent, quiescent state extends drawing state there is an enter method and a leave method because you need to show the default and drawing cursors when you uh, are entering the quiescent state and leaving the quiescent state respectively and when uh, you get a command to create a polygon you need to move to the polygon drawing state 